Okay, so I'm just making this video for myself as a quick reminder. Um, what I'm what I want to do is show how to use a particle system to create a a sort of echo effect. Um, so yeah, what I've got here is I've got a um, a mesh, which is just actually one. It's just one vertex. That's all it is. It's just one vertex. And that is parented to uh, this empty. And this empty is moving on a path like this. So the vertex is moving along with the empty. Okay. I've got my um, text here, which I want to, this is the object that I want to uh, emit. So I'm just going to turn that off. Um, on my emitter, I'm going to create a particle uh, system. And at the moment, it's affected by gravity and velocity and whatever. But the first thing to do is to go down here and to the render setting here, change this to object and then select the object I want to emit, which is this text. We run that, and it's pretty useless still. It's much too small, so let's change the size to one. Let's ease the bloom down a bit. Now, there are three things we need to change. We need to do the, get the rotation right, and we also need to... Where are we? Back here. We need to turn the velocity to zero. Uh, and then go down to field weights and put gravity to zero. So now we'll see that the particles are being emitted and they're not moving. And let's make just make the lifetime a little bit longer. Let's make it a hundred. And the last thing to do. Let's just take this off for a sec. Um, this will depend a little bit on your what your op the rotation of your object, but for this example here, I need to set this to um, object. I think it was object Z. But you can see that the text is um, it's mirror imaged. It's reversed. So then we do need to do the, where are we, rotation here, put a phase to minus one. And if we reset it, we'll see now that. Let's just make this right. And now you can see that we're getting this nice vintage effect and I can just go over here and I can make it a lot less you can really see that each um, echo is just staying in one place it's not moving so yeah this is just a basic setup there's just really a lot more that you can do with this uh, basically I'm trying to go for this kind of 80s late 70s motion graphics effects and seeing how far I can go in Blender to recreate them. Um, I think actually the way to go will be to do this in uh, geometry nodes because I, want, I need to have more control about things like um, the echoes fading out and also uh, maybe starting off smaller. The first echoes should be much smaller and then uh, they get bigger. and. I think the particle system in Blender is pretty limited. Uh, you can do some tricks, you can do some things, but it's it's limited. So my my goal is to um, actually to do this uh, in geometry nodes, but this is just like a basic setup to get myself going. Um, and of course, particle nodes, there is going to be um, yeah, there is going to be we, at the moment we have geometry nodes, and in the future, particle nodes will be coming. And I guess when that comes, then these sort of things will be much easier. You'll be able to do anything you like. But yeah, that was it.
Um, yeah, I hope somebody found these useful. And see you later.